Oh, hi, John Neil here again. Hello. Oh, the weather's lovely. Ah, it's June the 1st today, Monday, June the 1st, 2020, and we're in this pandemic and we're stuck in the house, supposedly. Um, uh, but you can get out and uh, do some exercise. So I've been for a bike ride this morning, uh, about 14 miles, and it's been absolutely lovely. Um, I read in the newspaper there's somebody who hadn't had a bicycle as a kid. I couldn't believe it. I thought, how can you not have had a bike? Uh, so I've written a letter to the paper. This is the iPaper, by the way. And um, they have published one or two of my letters. So I'm hopeful. And uh, yeah, he said he hadn't ridden a bike. And he was, uh, I thought, well, when I was a kid, I was about three and I rode a tricycle. And I rode on the, along the path all the way down our road, round, all the way round to the shops. And so my mum had to put my name and address on my back so people could turn me around and send me back in the right direction. So I've been cycling all my life. And in fact, when I was 10, 11, uh, in junior school, uh, we did the cycling proficiency test. It's called something else now but they still do do it. But I know that schools won't have the time anymore to do it properly. But it was a really good grounding to start off uh, road sense and road safety. And on top of that, later on, four, five, six years later, I passed my motorbike test and then eventually my driving test. But it, it all really started when I was about uh, 11 and took the cycling proficiency test. The road craft of it was brilliant. And then in my teenage years, I uh, did a lot of cycling with my friends and we went from Coventry where I lived uh, down to the Cotswolds and other places. We went youth hostel in and there'd be four or five, six of us. Uh, it was absolutely brilliant. Really, really enjoyed it. And we went any holiday that we weren't doing anything else. And then later on when I was in my 30s, I would cycle to work to go as a school teacher. And it was about eight miles to get there and eight miles back. Really enjoyed that as well. All weathers, by the way. I can remember once it was uh, very cold. It was about minus five degrees. And I got to school and the uh, school secretary said, you must be freezing, she said, John. I went, well, actually, I'm not. And she was quite a, a slight lady. And, uh, of course, i have been cycling eight miles at a reasonable pace, nothing outrageous. And um, she was um, very slight and, and quite cold. So I just put my hand out and held onto hers. And I was warm and she was cold. Um, actually, I, have, I think I had frost on my me, on me moustache, if you recall that. So that was good fun. And, and now that I'm retired, uh, I just cycle whenever I want. And if the weather's nice, which it has been for weeks now, uh, been about six or seven weeks and the weather's been remarkably good for England. Um, so I've been for a few bike rides. I made some videos about it. Um, it's just, um, I enjoy it, it's great. And now we've had the pandemic and the lockdown, a lot more people are cycling. Um, and not just people in Lycra and big, you know, fancy bikes and going horrendous speeds, 20 miles an hour plus all the time. But um, people with um, bikes, that have been left in the garage for a long time, mums, dads and little kiddies, are out on, the, on the, the lanes riding around, which is great. So I think we're gonna have a, a resurgence of interest in bikes, and I think it's great. By the way, of course, uh, Coventry was one of the great bicycle making places uh, in the Victorian times, and James Starley, he didn't invent the safety bicycle, that's the bicycle we have at the moment, um, but he, he took it and made it uh, as popular as it was back in the uh, 1800s and something. And there's a statue of him in Coventry. And I once took a photograph of some fellas, nice lads actually, they were jumping around on, on um, BMX bikes around this statue. And I says, you realise that's Starley, don't you? They didn't. But they did when I'd finished. It's five minutes. Done. Okay, see you next time. Bye.